As the city of Clarksville grows in population, the number of pedestrians crossing or walking near major streets have increased as well, causing concerns for crashes. In my opinion, there's not a lot of crosswalks for as many roads and how big they are. Um, and also I've noticed that the roads that do have sidewalks, they only have them on one side. And I think that's a little problematic. The statistics for this year are staggering. So far this year, there's been 59 crashes involving pedestrians. 50 of those were injury accidents. Four have been fatal. Pedestrians were attempting to cross major uh, roadways. Officer Bovian explains where these hotspots are. But New Province Boulevard between Market and Teachers Mill, and then Fort Cam Boulevard between Cunningham and 101st Parkway, and then William Rudolph between Academy and Holiday Drive. There are some recommendations that Officer Bobian has for pedestrians. Crossing at intersections is the biggest thing. At the traffic lights, um, and in most of the traffic lights, I believe, that I, I believe they all do, have a crosswalk. You know, so crossing at a crosswalk instead of um, somewhere where traffic's not expecting someone to, to come across the roadway. City leaders are attempting to push these projects as soon as possible. So some of the obstacles, Clarksville is in a unique position because we were interlocked with a lot of state roads that is out of the authority of the city and the county. Other obstacles is funding and then the biggest one is just time and resources. School zones were one of the areas of most concern and is the top priority on the list of projects. Around schools is a top priority to get those sidewalks in, yes. And I would also just reference the Transportation 2020 plan on what phase we are and where for those sidewalk projects.